is up you guys I am here to talk to you guys and show you a new bag that I just got and I'm super excited because this is a shape that I do not have in my collection that I've always kind of admired but never had the chance to pull the trigger on it so, so the brand that I have gotten was from Teddy Blake and as I was perusing their website I did see so so much goodies it was really hard for me to try to figure out which one I wanted of course at the end of it all I wanted to go with a shape that I've always lusted over but never have gotten and I don't have anything like it in my collection so I'm going to share it with you guys today so so this is the box that it comes in. So it comes in this gorgeous white box that says Teddy Blake New York on it. So let's open it together. It is a very great box, very comparable to other luxury brands out there. So that's the first thing I noticed. And of course, packaging, guys. Packaging is very, very important when it comes to spending money on luxury items you'll love the packaging from them so basically it says teddy blake new york designer handbags made in italy luxury leather each teddy blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice and i think i made a good choice so here you go guys this is not a true unboxing guys um i've already reviewed it and checked it out so it comes very nicely wrapped so I went through it already it comes with a gorgeous white dust bag because all bags need dust bags I'm just saying so it says Teddy Blake New York on it so let's give it an open and guys I have gotten this beautiful bucket bag here in this camel color it is called the eliza vitello and i got it it comes in two sizes i got it in the nine inch because um small bag trend i have gotten it in this camel color because despite me having a lot of brown bags i don't exactly have this color and i'm really obsessed with this camel color right now it's probably because we're transitioning out of fall into winter i mean in hawaii it's summer all the time so i thought that this bag would be great to have all year round and um truthfully you guys i've been using this bag for the past week and for me, I usually swap out my bags every couple days, maybe three days at most. And I gotta say, I've gotten so much compliments. I can't even tell you how much compliments I got on this bag. It is insane. So if you do go to their website, check out all the styles that they have because they have styles and designs for whatever type of style you have. For me, I think for me, I'm more... I'm all over the place. One day I can be in business attire, the next I can be in skirts and dresses, and the next thing you know, I'm in sweats, I'm in jeans, I'm dressed like a little boy, but this bag in particular went with every single style that I had for that week that I had used it. Um, I really didn't have any issues with the color either. It really went with everything, and the designs on their website there's so much more and there's so much more different colors in this style and amongst all their other popular styles as well they have this amazing mock croc bag that just came out and i am i have been visiting it on the website quite a lot so i would definitely check them out at teddyblake.com to see more of their designer styles i don't know about you but for me anytime when i'm around leather the first thing i do is i smell it i love the smell of leather it just something about it it just it smells so rich and it smells so luxurious and that's the one thing that about this teddy blake bag that i really love is the fact that the materials are leather and they're from italy it is all handcrafted and done in italy which says so so much and i have to say too the dyeing on this leather is amazing and so while my week of using it i accidentally dropped the bag on the floor in water and guys there was no scratches there was no watermarks and 
I'm very accident prone like that. And I was so, so, so pleasantly surprised that after dropping it in the water, there has been no issues whatsoever. Like there is no nicks, there's no scratches. And a lot of people, the number one question that I get from people is, how do you have long nails and not scratch your leather? And I've had um, other items with calf leather that easily scratches, but let me tell you, this bag like withstands my nails, and that is amazing. Look at it, no double stitching. The stitching is amazing. Um, the craftsmanship on this is great. I really, really love it. Let me show you guys on the inside as well. So of course I had to pick with the rose pink inside because I love the color pink as to what I'm wearing today. So how cute is this blush pink? It also comes with the pouch as well, which is removable. This, I actually use this to house a lot of like my loose money and coins and it worked out quite well. And you know what I also did as well is um, I have a lot of bandeaus. So I was able to take out the drawstring and lace through my bandeau. I will insert a video of that for you. I was trying to do a day by day, but it wasn't looking that great. So I will just inter insert a snippet of how that looks. I just think it looks so great either with the drawstring or with a or with a bandeau, it looks, it changes the look, but it still looks so luxurious. So I would definitely try that out. Teddy Blake designers come from well-known luxury brands that create these designs for every style choice, just like their box says. Subscribe to their emails to be informed on new monthly collections, as well as future promotions. As you know, I love the smell of real leather. And with Teddy Blake, they are all made with Italy's finest, pelletries that is dyed and treated to last for years and years to come. These work of arts were crafted in the same Italian factories as other luxury brands. They're such high quality construction and the attention to detail is on point and they will never compromise quality. Save hundreds of dollars by not paying that high end luxury brand markups. 10 out of 10 for me is what Teddy Blake is to me and I would highly recommend. Don't forget to check them out at teddyblake.com. a uh, new bag I mean Christmas is coming soon guys so this is like my birthday gift from Teddy Blake and I'm so happy that they sent it to me thank you so much Teddy Blake you guys are so amazing your quality is just it just speaks volumes and guys I would definitely recommend it it is such good quality the material is fantastic and I would just I wouldn't mind adding more colors into my collection. I think if they have a white one, I might add that in. I've been looking for a white bag for a while now, and I think after trialing this bag here and being gifted this bag, I think I know where my white bag is going to come from. And right now, they're having a really great sale on their website, so I'll definitely check it out. Thank you again so much, guys, and let's start the vlog. Bye. Good morning, guys. So my latte art is looking like the BTS B21 member with the heart head. I tried to just make a heart, but he started growing a body. So that's who it is.
this is new. And guys, this is the outfit of the day. So I went with my favorite matching um, suit from All Saints. This shirt's also from All Saints as well. I haven't worn it in a while. A while. I bought something from MCM, which you guys will see later. I have my Valentinos on and my Gabrielle. I did a thing today in the bathroom at Sax. Um, I wanted to take you guys with me around here, but the salespeople just wouldn't leave me alone. So that didn't happen, but I did pick up something that I wanted from Japan, but they sold out, so I got him. Bye. Sale at Saks. Todd's, Manolo's. Okay. Lunchtime. I'm hungry, so I got a sushi set with all kinds of stuff, and then I got mochi donuts. I haven't had these in so long, so I have black sesame, fruity pebbles. Uh, I don't know what that is. I forgot already. Uh, cookies and cream, times two, ube. Oh, these are strawberries and Hawaiian honey glazed. The great thing about these mochi donuts is that they're bouncy 20, like, I mean, you gotta eat it at a certain amount of time, but um, it lasts, it doesn't get as hard as regular donuts as they sit. So I've only had before the strawberry and black sesame, which I really love, so I got others that I thought would be good. Okay, bye. Hey, what is up, guys? So, it's early, it's like 7.45, I've been up since like 4 o'clock this morning. I went to sleep real early last night at about 10. So I need to do a few errands today. I have to go to a farmer's market to pick up Millie's food. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit about how that looks like. And I also have to go to the bank to take care of some stuff and I just have so many things to do today as far as like meal prepping for Millie and other things but yes guys Christmas is coming soon how is your shopping going are you done haven't started yet I'm like halfway or so and there's still a bunch of videos that I need to record for vlogmas and unboxings and Millie's been very bad this morning. Like, I just can't breathe her right now. Hey guys, so I'm on the way to the farmer's market now. And me wearing this sweater right now is so questionable because according to my car, it's 83 degrees out and I'm wearing a freaking, I'm wearing that Target sweater. I think it's because at home I was freezing and now that I'm out, I'm like heavily questioning it damn it but whatever i just have to go and pick up millie's food i'm probably just gonna grab some breakfast and leave i don't and it's an indoor mall so i guess it's an indoor mall so i guess that's okay but questionable very very questionable people are probably gonna think i'm fucking insane which fine <laughs> It's that time again for advent calendar time. So it's, I forgot to do the sixth. So I'm gonna do the sixth and the seventh because now today is the eighth. So six here. So it is, oh, nice. Professor McGonagall, I love her. As I said in my previous video, I got her at the Funko Pop. She's one of my favorites. So I can't wait to build her. And then seven is here. Seven. 
seven is what? Oh, it's a table with um, uh, drinks. With what? I need to call those goblets. Okay, awesome. And then I'll do the eighth and the ninth according to the appropriate days. So now, here's six. And six is, oh my gosh, it's Professor Snape. How awesome. And then we have seven here. And this one is, ugh, I forget this guy's name. Uh, leave me his name if you know it below, but I know who it is, I just don't know his name. Awesome, and then the last one is Godiva. I still didn't even eat the other days that I said I was gonna eat, which I can catch up on that eventually. So this is six. Oh, cute, it's a white snowman. Oh, maybe I'll eat that. I love white chocolate, guys. It is, I know, some people say it's not even chocolate, but I don't care. Mmm, the inside is just hazelnut, which I love. And seven, mmm. Is this here? And this looks the same as what number two is. I guess I'll eat it, whatever. I'm behind anyway. Still disappointed that five was empty, but sure. This is just more of a fudgy center. It's just like a milk chocolate fudge. That's it. 